just got to log in really quick. Ah, I have to change my password again. I swear I just did that. <sighs> okay. What? Uppercase and lowercase. Okay. But now I need a number. Fine. Special characters. Ugh. All right. It's already been used before. Okay. Um. There. Finally. Wait. Verification questions. Ah, fuck it. I'll do it later. Oh, hi there. Uh, <laughs> welcome to another Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt. And, uh, well, I'm pretty sure you can figure out the subject of today's video. And that would be changing passwords is dumb. We've all been there before, about to log into our account at work or on some website in the dreaded, it's time to change your password alert pops up. Why are we constantly forced to do that? And why are we required to use various capital letters and numbers and symbols? Well, I've read a lot of opinions on the matter and most seem to think it increases security and decreases the odds of malicious actors discovering your password. Uh, and to be fair, they're all wrong. And I will explain why. Even though I've had a few beers and as such have a few brain cells tied behind my back. See... A lot of this thought pattern has its roots in the olden days when computer security was in its infancy, as in non-existent. People chose simple passwords, their, their kid's name, a birthday, or something completely uh, idiotic like password or one, two, three, four, five. What's the combination? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. That's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. Over time, systems admins realized how easy these accounts were to compromise. Like, you could totally guess them if you knew the person. So they started implementing those kinds of requirements. But that wasn't enough. What if eventually someone discovered the password? or? What if over a long time of careful trial and error figured it out? That's how the theory goes, I guess. I, I don't know. I didn't attend the meeting. So the solution became force users to constantly change their password. T does any of this make things more secure? Well, hell no. One of the problems with frequent password changes is the human factor. People forget. So instead of simply remembering the super awesome password they've had for years, well, instead they have to write it down. Maybe on a sticky note they hide under their keyboard or they store it on their phone or something. It's essentially plain text for anyone who has access to the device or space. Furthermore, people tend not to randomize the password and instead choose something memorable and easy to type. Uh, you know, substitute an exclamation point for an I or a three for an E, stuff like that. And that's child's play for modern hackers. So that pretty much kills the guessing argument. So then... I guess, what is the correct way to, to do passwords? How should we do it? Well, for starters, we should not have to change them. Like, we shouldn't do that ever, if at all. Um, 
sure. You absolutely should have a different password for every account. That's a given. Data breaches are still a thing. Um, we should do away with the case number and symbol requirements and institute length requirements. The best passwords are super long pass phrases, essentially like a sentence that describes something only you know. The longer, the better. When it comes to guessing, and especially brute force attacks, each additional character exponentially increases the time it takes to crack it. Oh, and uh, use two-factor authentication. You are using two-factor, right? Use a password management app, but don't put all your trust in it. Because, you know, nothing is 100% secure. As the saying goes, and I think I might have actually coined this, if someone can make it, someone can break it. Stay vigilant. Be aware. <laughs> there are no Nigerian princes waiting to hand you money. No million dollar winners in a random ad banner you see on a website. The IRS and FBI are not going to make a threatening phone call without sending a letter or probably in person goons first. If something seems fishy or too good to be true, ignore it. After all, Hacking has little to do with computers and typing things on a console and breaking into the mainframe. It's almost exclusively social engineering. I should know. <laughs>